Hey guys, Clay here at Havoc Off-Road. We've got JCR's Mahler Stubby front bumper for your Jeep JK, and we're gonna show you how to install this on your Jeep. Let's get started. The hardware kit comes with this bracket that we're gonna slip down into the frame and the front of our Jeep, and then another 14 millimeter bolt that will attach this bracket through the frame to this other bracket that's on our bumper. Now to install JCR's vacuum pump relocation bracket, we need to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts. Now with the pump removed, we can install the bracket. We've got the bolt provided with the hardware kit. It's gonna be bolt, washer, frame, bracket, washer, nut. And there's already a hole in the frame from the factory. Now this is an 18 millimeter nut and a 17 millimeter on the bolt head. We'll go ahead and tighten that down. Now JCR includes two bolts. If you want, you can drill out your factory bolt, but I'm gonna go ahead and just reuse this long bolt from the factory and leave in the metal washer. We'll install that back, and then we'll go ahead and install JCR's provided bolt washers and locking nut on the other side. Now you're going to need to remove this metal piece on this side, so just put the bolt in there and pull that out. And that's what that washer is for. Put the pump in the right location. You don't want to crush this rubber isolator, just make sure everything's snug down. Now this is easier with a friend, but these bumpers aren't too bad. And you're just going to push that bracket over the inside, and you're going to make sure right here it clears the horn of the Jeep. And then we're going to lift it up and fish our bolts into those horns on the front of the frame. Now we're going to attach that 14 millimeter bolt included with the hardware kit right to this bracket. Get it hand tight. These are 11 16 locking flange nuts, and there's gonna be four for the passenger and four for the driver's side. We'll go ahead and put those on, and then we'll tighten everything up. Now some of these you can get to with an, exten an extension. A few of the bolts you're not gonna be able to use the extension. And we'll just go through and tighten them all down. Now we're gonna tighten this 14 millimeter bolt down last. And our bumper's installed. Well, the bumper's just that easy to install. If you guys have any questions, give us a call or visit us at HavocOffRoad.com. Thanks.